Hi there, my name is Biokib and if you're new around here, welcome. This is a channel where I show the music production I do and I also show the gear I use to create the music around here. The channel is pretty nerdy and if you like that type of stuff, you are welcome to subscribe. Today we are taking a look at the Ryzen 3900X CPU and I'm just going to take a look at how it handles multi-core in Ableton Live. I have a few videos about that on this channel already so you can go and check those out if you wish. I have a video about how many contact instruments <laughs> it's able to run. There were some people that actually was interested in that so you can check that out. But today I'm just going to take a look at uh, how it handles multi-core and how it handles like a many serum instruments instances and in a actual project I am currently working on so you can get a sneak peek on that as well. But first I thought we could just take a look at the Ableton Live documentation and see what they are saying about the multicore and uh, we can take a look at uh, the page here. So the question is how many cores and threads of a multicore processor can be utilized at once? And the answer is Live supports up to 64 cores for audio processing on a Mac and Windows. Likewise Live supports up to 64 processing threads for audio calculation. And then we have the question how many threads are used per live track? Live uses one thread to process a single path. A single path is a single chain of audio flow, and in tracks where instruments or effect racks are used, with multiple chains in parallel, live may use one thread per chain, depending on how CPU intensive each chain may be. If two tracks are chained by routings, for instance by a side chaining, a track being fed to a return track, or any tracks being fed into each other, they are considered dependent tracks and count as one signal path. And any dependent set of tracks will use one thread per each, or one thread each. And then it's why do I have a high CPU load in a set with just one track? That is because Live uses one thread per signal path. A set with just one track could potentially result in high CPU load if the track contains, for instance, a CPU intensive instruments, let's say Diva with insane settings, followed by a large chain of CPU intensive effects. So which is uh, what is more beneficial, a faster CPU speed or more cores? Both are important. If your budget allows it, we recommend getting the fastest CPU and maximum amount of cores that you can afford. And then you have a breakdown here of the pros and cons of what, but I'm not going to read everything about that. I think we uh, can take a look at the uh, project here that I'm working on now. So to test this, I'm going to duplicate some of these tracks and remove the routings and just leave them be. And we will see how live handles multicore. I can show you the CPU usage in uh, the most active part in this track uh, as it is now. It sounds like this. So as you could see on the screen here, the uh, CPU use in, uh, in, in this window, let's, uh, let's just take it up here again. The CPU use in this window was about uh, between 45% and 50%, but the audio buffer here in Ableton Live, I can play, play just back again so you can see. So the audio buffer was about above 70%. So so the percent you see here in Ableton Live is not really a CPU usage percent. It's an audio uh, buffer uh, percent. So what we can do now here is we can uh, we can just take Serum for example and we can duplicate it. And I can also show you the settings uh, the settings here now. I'm using ASIO drivers. It's in uh, 48 kilohertz and I am using uh, 256 uh, samples. 
let's just let's just create a new MIDI track here. Keep it for itself here. So in Serum here we go to global, we set it to 4x under oscillator settings. And we go to oscillator, we turn on oscillator B, and we set unison to 16. And we set unison to 16 here. This should use a little CPU. Let's uh, increase the release as well. Uh, let's begin with five, five of these. Let's see what the results are here. Okay, so we are hitting uh, over 55% here on the CPU use and uh, about almost touching 80% here. Let's duplicate it a few times. Let's just make uh, 20 of them. Let's see how this uh, works. Okay, as you can see here now, we went up to 103 in uh, or over 100% in audio buffer and you will hear this uh, crackle in the sound. We can try to up the buffer size to 512 and see, see what happens. So, if I just mute everything here now and uh, play it back, you can see that the audio buffer is around 105%, 110%. And you can see here, still the Ryzen system is utilizing around, uh, it's around 80% of the CPU. And I, th I think it's uh, it's not really that bad. Remember that the settings on Serum here, they are very CPU intensive. When you have 16D tune here and 16D tune here, and you have 4X, under oscillator settings, that gives it a huge hit on your CPU. And most people, they don't use Serum this, this way. So let's just say I remove five of these, uh, delete these, and see how things work now. So we can hear a little crackle there. Let's try and remove uh, five more. Okay, so that was good. But remember again, if we go into the into Serum here, these are very demanding settings. 16 unison on both oscillators and again 4x doesn't maybe really represent a real time or a real life uh, situation i don't know and then i also have a lot of other tracks in this track already i have diva here i have spire diva diva so there's a lot of things in this track as you can see down here that also contributes to the cpu usage of course and it's not only these serum tracks i added here so if you take a look at what Ableton says here about multicore on their CPUs and trying to just to create a workflow that works good on multicore CPUs, I think that the AMD 3900X is a great choice for music production. I've been using it for, I think it's about uh, maybe four months. You can check out my PC build video. It's actually uh, a video where I built this system I'm using here right now. And yeah, I think it's a good CPU for music production if you are going to use a PC with uh, Windows and Ableton Live. So let me know what you thought about this video. Type a comment below. If you like content like this, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I see my subscriber counts go up. I think it's uh, really strange because I'm not really a super expert on this. I just record what I see and I publish it online. And it's uh, really up to you to make your own decision on what you think it's best for your uh, workflow. If you have watched to the end, you are my friend. I appreciate that. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.